Hey guys, welcome back. John here, Gaddy's Garage. Today we're going to get this uh, this steering stem and lower triple tree fit on our new project GS 1100 Pro Street Build. So stay tuned to see how we got this done. Morning everybody, welcome back. Saturday in the shop, we're very excited. Um, we're gonna get started on a new build. Um, if you follow us on Instagram and stuff, you've seen a couple of posts about this. If you don't, I'm glad you're here and I'm gonna give you a quick, quick, quick rundown. Instead of rambling, it's kind of a long story. But anyway, years ago I used to race an Outlaw Pro Street drag bike, Suzuki GS1100 based bike. Um, 1,640 cc's, real fast bike, you know, seven second bike. We had a second frame, my dad and I did this together. If you don't know, my dad passed away. Uh, be almost, it'll be eight years in uh, April, so. Um, we had a second frame years ago that we got, and there's a specific type of prep we did on the frame. Outlaw Pro Street required a stock cradle, so um, I'll show all this stuff in detail when we start looking at the bike and doing the build, but uh, anyway, he prepped this frame, uh, man, I don't know, 20 years ago maybe, and we never did anything with it. Um, shortly after I opened the shop, uh, the recession of 2010, 2009 came, and we quit racing. I sold the original Pro Street Outlaw bike, and uh, anyway, but I always hung on to this frame. It was already all cut up, and nothing else was done besides what cut up work we did. So, I've been carrying around forever. Needless to say, this is the last bike I have, or e or piece of a bike that my dad worked on. We're gonna build it now. Um, gonna build it into a, more of a Pro Street than an Outlaw Pro Street. Um, it'll still be streetable, sorta, you know, ride it to bike night type of stuff. Um, my dad always loved 82, 83 Katana 1000s, so I got some body work for that. Anyway, that's the whole reasoning behind this bike. We're calling it my dad's last bike, and that's, uh, that's that. So, needless to say, I'm super excited to get started on this bike. This is going to be an extremely long process. Uh, a couple of reasons why. Number one, I don't have that much time. You know, I work one half day on Saturdays, usually on a shop project. Um, the second thing is, is I've been watching a guy who builds Aramaki race bikes. Long story short, he had a bike he built. The bike got stolen 25 years ago, and he decided to rebuild it on a YouTube series. The guy's name is Paul Brody, if you want to check him out. I'll put a link um, to his channel highly detailed work he does he was a bicycle builder and some other things but cool videos so check them out and um he has notes from this original race bike build like highly detailed notes on every custom part he made and so he's been able to reproduce these parts like 20 something years later remembering what he did off these notes so this bike i'm gonna keep notes like that i'm gonna keep i bought a like a journal book and I'm just going to keep highly detailed notes. I'm going to do drawings on all the custom parts we make. Not that I'm ever going to need to rebuild this bike again, but I don't know. I just thought it'd be cool. Maybe one day way down the road somebody will enjoy looking through my build book. I'm going to I'm contemplating starting to do this on all the big builds we do just cuz I find it interesting and like if we build a bike for somebody else, you know, I could do this. I can make a copy of it and I'll keep one and give them a copy to go with the bike so they have detailed information on their bike. Um, I don't know if I'll ever do that. It's probably going to be really time consuming to do this. But anyway, that's where we're at. So I got a, some of the parts in to get started on this thing, the front end and whatnot. And then 
last thing before we get to work is we're going to try and switch it up today. I got a buddy of mine who's a photographer coming in and so we're going to have an actual cameraman. I feel like I miss a lot of stuff by having the tripod or I, you know, the tripod's not exactly aimed where I thought it was and so we're just trying to improve the quality of the videos and and have a different look, maybe a more professional look and get the point across better by having somebody whose only focus is shooting what I'm doing versus me trying to do what I'm doing and shoot it at the same time. So let me know in the comments what you think about the video specifically, um, not the content as much as like the quality and the fact of having somebody else shoot it if you think that's a worthwhile investment um, having somebody here to do that or not because again I'm curious about you guys' opinions. Alright guys so we're over at the bike here First things first, we're gonna get our front end fit. So we got a front end here off of 2006-2007 uh, GSXR 75600. Went with this radial brakes, inverted front end, nice lightweight. The steering stem is not gonna work for us for the GS frame. So I got a neck from a GS frame. We're gonna take the neck out of the GSXR triple trees. We will figure out what we need to do mods wise to make this neck fit in this triple tree. So first things first, we got to run into the press, knock this neck out, and then come back and make our comparisons. All right, so we got our two stems here. Uh, I'm going to grab some vernier calipers. We'll sit down at the table and uh, start making our measurements, make some notes, and then figure out what we got to do to get this fit into this bottom triple tree. Day today, the 16th. All right, so we got all our measurements made. We got our notes about what we need to machine here. I'm gonna jump over and find a piece of scrap material and start making our part.
Oh, he had the right idea. He's kind of correct. We got our sleeve made. We're gonna throw it on the hot plate here, get it warmed up. We'll drop it onto our GS1100 steering stem, then we'll go back to the lathe, put it in the lathe, and turn it down to our final outside dimension. It's just way too thin to have tried to turn it inside and outside, and then install it. It's, I mean, 12 thousandths, it's like a piece of paper. Um, and it's really only gonna be like 6 thousandths on either side. It's gonna be paper thin, I'm not sure this is even going to work, honestly. It may peel off when we go to machine it. So, we will see. Yeah. So, we're waiting for this to heat up here. Once it, uh, once it expands fully hot, in theory, we'll drop it right on here without having to press it or anything. When it cools off, it squeezes on to the parent material and basically becomes almost as good as one piece. So, um, it's a pretty tight press I got on there. So, I'm just letting it get nice and, nice and hot. I usually only get one shot at this kind of thing, so. Saw a little tiny burr in there. I wanted to get it out before we try and drop it on. And that did not go how we wanted. So. Uh, let's jump on the press, see if we can send it home the rest of the way. Not exactly as planned, but problem solved nonetheless. We'll let this cool off and we'll head back over to the lathe. Well, they didn't wallow out the square hole, they just cut a, they like hand cut a square? Yeah. That was fucking. It wasn't a square. Yeah. Minuscule sleeve cut, machine down, and now we got our bottom triple tree on the hot plate. We're going to get this thing warmed up and uh, try and drop this neck into there, see if we do better than we did the last time. If not, we'll grab it and jump on the press. But with this thin of a piece of material, I really want to try and drop it in. Uh, I'm afraid it might peel it off if we press it. So. All right. Let's see how we did. We didn't do like we wanted to. Peeling it off. Oh, were you showing him my box? Yeah. Dude, how? F in the he actually walked it in like that. He yeah. Like Can you imagine? Stuff. Like he had a lot of yeah. stuff, but you would think he would. Be happy. Things in a warehouse somewhere. Good. 
good as new. There we have it, GSXR Triple Tree GS1100 steering stem. All right, got our brand new tapered Timken all ball steering stem bearings. Damn, this thing is still hot. All right, there we go, first piece of the puzzle. Lower triple tree, steering stem swap. Install. All right, so before we get out of here, we're gonna look at fitting this top triple tree if we can. The bore in the triple tree is much larger than the stem, you know, being that this is the GSXR tree and this is the GS stem. So we're gonna machine up a little collar, uh, integrate a washer into that and get that installed on here. Uh, also looks like we might need to counter bore either that or, actually I could flip that nut over. If I put the shoulder down, that'll give us a flat area to register against instead of this step. All right. So that'll be there. All right, cool. I'll grab a piece of material, head over to the lathe machine this little part up and then come back and fit this on. All right, so last little piece for the day is this um, bore reducer with integrated washer. Goes in the triple tree. Triple tree will sit nice on there. Obviously we need a nut. I'm gonna make up an aluminum nut when we get some more time. All right guys, so last little thing for today is um, I'm gonna do our, our uh, build book with our drawing of our little spacer here, so. Oop, I gotta grab some, one more, one more thing.
All right, guys, that's a wrap for today. Um, not a lot of progress, but like I said earlier, this is going to be a real tedious long-term build. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let us know what you think about having the cameraman here, if you like the additional video stuff. Um, let me know if you like Nicole popping in and saying fuck in the back of the video for no apparent reason. And uh, that's it, man. You guys have a great weekend, and uh, we'll see you next time at Gaddy's Garage.